thank you for joining me today um, so I am doing a brief review of the Milani Gilded Rouge palette um, I actually recorded something earlier and apparently it didn't record so um, I will kind of just get you into the rest of the review but ultimately it was a thumbs down for me. Um, it did not work um, on my skin tone and my eyelids. And I did try different primers. I used the one that I normally use, which is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And then I did try a glitter primer as well, um, but unfortunately it did not work. But go ahead and stay tuned and I will tell you more about why it just did not work for me. Thank you. As I was saying about this palette, just very disappointing um, because it just, on Instagram, looked beautiful, on their website, looked beautiful, but unfortunately, these just, they didn't work out for me. And this palette overall, um, when I'm looking at a palette, because my lids, my eyelids are monolids, so that means I have no pronounced brow bone, I have no crease, it's completely mono right it's a monotone just one flat surface for me I really need some kind of shadow palette that has good blendability and has the ability for me to kind of create a gradient type of look so I think as I was saying before like my eye look right now I don't, I'm not using this palette. Right now, what I have on, I don't even think I have it on me right now, is is this is the Huda Beauty um, Amethyst Obsessions um, color that I have on right now. And you're, this is what I wanted to do with this palette, but unfortunately it just didn't work out. I wanna do it with these beautiful wine kind of colors and these blues, um, but I just couldn't do it. And I even tried a little bit with the red and the orangey colors and I kind of had a look, but it really took a lot of time and it still looked really lackluster. The colors did not pop. They didn't wow me at all. Whereas like, look at this, it is so nice. And you can see there's just like a little bit of gradient. You can see some of the darkness in the corner and then you can see how it went from dark to light, but it's very, um, there's no harsh lines. I was able to blend it out beautifully, but still keep that kind of um, transition of color going. That's what I need. So when I look at a palette and I'm trying it, I have to ask myself, is this monolid friendly? Unfortunately for me, in my opinion, this is not monolid friendly. Um, you could probably get away with some one to two color looks, like put down a color and then put some of these shimmers over it. I tried doing that, but it was still really lackluster because the colors underneath are not as bright. And then the shimmers and even these foils, when you put on top, were lackluster. Um, the colors that should be shining underneath these multi-dimensional kind of iridescent colors, they didn't pull through and they just didn't work for me. I tried these shadows wet, I tried them dry, I used my fingers, I used a dense brush, I used a fluffy brush, I tried a lot of different techniques with these um, eyeshadows. I've never worked so hard using an eyeshadow palette before and I think that's kind of why I'm ranting right now because it was just very frustrating and disappointing. Now I do want to say though that the mattes in here were really nice. You do have to build them up but the mattes worked nice. Those blended out well. However, I didn't pay $20 for a 20 pan eyeshadow palette just to like the four matte colors that are in here right there's one two three four yeah or five maybe but that's five out of 20 <laughs> that I like and it they're really all within the same color scheme um, for the mattes that I liked so unfortunately this is going back and um, it is not really monolid friendly I'm sorry but um now moving on to the next product that I tried. This is new to me. This is the Maybelline 24 hour stay color. Um, I purchased 
this actually let me take it out of the packaging so it's not so reflective here's what it is and I I have kids and they're young and they like to you know touch my face and I love to kiss them and sometimes I want to be made up and I want to have lipstick on and I don't want my lipstick to transfer onto them and I also don't want it on their clothes on my clothes my husband definitely doesn't want it on him so I've been trying out some new um, kinds of lip colors to see if I can find any that are really stain proof and transfer proof so I saw these in the my local Walgreens and thought let me try it they're supposed to be transfer proof and they were interesting and I really like these two colors um this color I let me see I just took these out of the package and I totally am not a hundred percent sure what these are shoot wait no I do okay no no they're numbered all right so this one I got in steady ready and this one I got in Keep It Red. Now, I um, tried them out and how these are supposed to work is, and I sh warn you if you want to try them, read the directions before you put them on. There are directions for these, but you basically take the color, so you have this side that has your lip color, and you kind of just lightly paint your lips with them so start in the center because that will have the most product at first once you've thinned that out then you can line your lips and then you know put the rest of the color work quickly and then you'll take this end which has your little um kind of uh hydrator chapstick kind of thing and you'll put that on over it so that way it kind of locks in the color and it adds moisture so it's not very dry and also what i found out because i didn't realize that this to keep this transfer proof the color part it's um kind of separates it like dries down and separates almost like you know that crackle nail polish it's like that and unfortunately these both i was really excited um this color actually came out better than this one this one just separated as soon as i put it on i tried to layer it up and it separated tried to do a thin and it separated this one went on way easier and better but unfortunately it only lasted me about an hour and then it started to separate no matter how much i tried to put this on it so these unfortunately were a fail um I would not recommend them um, I do have to say though they smell really nice <laughs> I don't know if that matters to anyone but they do smell like Kool-Aid to me both of them but unfortunately um, I have to pass on these they did not work um, but since I don't want to end this on a negative note I do want to say one positive thing um, this well obviously my eyeshadow look by um, Huda Beauty Amethyst awesome I have a review for that and I did say in that review I wasn't really sure I was going to keep it because I was thinking hey it might be too much for me I kept it it's a beautiful formula it works it's gorgeous and if I just use the matte I actually can get away with an everyday look but if I want something bold like if I feel like doing something um, a little bit more blingy and wow I can do it and it's beautiful um also the lip color that I'm using it's a dis a rediscovered favorite it is by actually I don't even know I think this is Rimmel this is Rimmel Moisture Renew this is the Violet Pop number 420 sorry it's so gross looking it's old but it's this beautiful color I love it I don't even know if they sell it anymore but I just found it again and I think it's gorgeous um, and I will definitely try to repurchase this one so yeah all right so those are my thoughts and I hope you enjoyed I hope it was informative and yeah I would say um, oh yeah I, I did want to say you know for this Milani gilded palette um, the formula unfortunately is very disappointing but if you're looking like if you were looking at this palette and thought wow I really like the formulas I really like the funness of it well then you can go with other palettes and actually let me go get them yeah instead of spending $20 on this palette which unfortunately did not work out 
but if you were interested in it, like me, because the formula, the shimmers, they looked beautiful and creamy and just so nice, I would highly recommend spending $20 on a Juvia's Place palette. The formula is beautiful. The mattes are workable. The shimmers are just to die for. And highly, highly, highly recommend it. Like, it's just beautiful. Look at this. They're creamy. They're gorgeous. I do have another review on this separately. And I just love this palette. It is gorgeous. The This is the formula that I thought the Milani um, eyeshadow palette would be. And I was disappointed. So I know this shadow right here, this eyeshadow palette right here, this is the Juvia's Place um, Warriors palette. Um, I know this is very neutral, but they have so many other more colorful palettes. Like you have the Mini Masquerade, which I really am eyeing. Um, they have that. And again, they're $20. I think actually the Mini Masquerade, there's usually a sale. It's usually $15. And Juvia's Place um, actually usually has sales too. Ulta has sales. And you can use the um, coupon for Ulta as well on Juvia's Place. So I would highly recommend that. Or spend $7 more and get yourself a Huda Beauty palette if you were interested in those blues and purples. I mean, this is, the formula is amazing. Um, I do like the Juvia's Place um, formula and the Huda Beauty is actually like a step above. It's gorgeous. $27 for this beautiful little palette. And so this palette um, is $27 and you also have the Mauve Obsessions. You have like an orangey one. There's so many others that um, Huda Beauty came out with these little tiny palettes um, and they're gorgeous. The formula is awesome. They have the new neon bold ones that came out. So if you were looking for something that was a little bit bolder and really wow factor, go with Huda Beauty or go with Juvia's Place. That's what I would recommend. So yeah, all right. So that is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. And um, yeah, just give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this. If you have any questions, um, leave a comment down below. My name is Katie. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join me and I will see you next time. Bye.